a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Precordial Catch Syndrome Precordial Catch Syndrome is a non-serious condition in which there are sharp stabbing pains in the chest. These typically get worse with breathing in and occur within a small area. Spells of pain usually last less than a few minutes. Typically it begins at rest and other symptoms are absent. Concerns about the condition may result in anxiety. The underlying cause is unclear. Some believe the pain may be from the chest wall or irritation of an intercostal nerve. Risk factors include psychological stress. The pain is not due to the heart. Diagnosis is based on the symptoms. Other conditions that may produce similar symptoms include angina, pericarditis, pleurisy, and chest trauma. Treatment is usually via reassurance, as the pain generally resolves without any specific treatment. Outcomes are good. Precordial catch syndrome is relatively common, and children between the ages of 6 and 12 are most commonly affected. Both males and females are affected equally. It is less common in adults. The condition was first described in 1955. Signs and Symptoms Pieces has consistent characteristics. Its symptoms begin with a sudden onset of anterior chest pain on the left side of the chest. The pain is localized and does not radiate like heart attack pain typically does. Breathing in, and sometimes breathing out, often intensifies the pain. Moving also intensifies the pain. Typically this causes the patient to freeze in place and breathe shallowly until the episode passes. Episodes typically last a couple of seconds to three minutes. In some cases it lasts for one hour. The frequency of episodes varies by patient, sometimes occurring daily, multiple episodes each day, or more spread out over weeks, months, or years between episodes. Pieces is believed to be localized cramping of certain muscle groups. Intensity of pain can vary from a dull minor pain to intense sharp pain possibly causing momentary vision loss slash blurriness and often loss of breath. Treatment There is no known cure for pieces. However, pieces is not believed to be dangerous or life-threatening. Many see the worst part about pieces to be the fear that this chest pain is an indicator of a heart attack or other more serious condition. As the condition is not dangerous or life-threatening, there is no reason to take medication. Although some sufferers may choose to refrain from some normal activities such as physical exercise, as this can exaggerate the pain, particularly if it occurs during physical activity, while there is no known cure. Some patients have reported relief after slowly inhaling and holding their breath for a short while. Also, lifting the elbows while in an upright position reportedly decreases pressure on the region. Keeping the body hydrated is reported to decrease the frequency of these episodes as well, and ibuprofen may also help. History The syndrome was first described and named in 1893 by Henri Hutchard, a French cardiologist, who called it precordiology, or syndrome de Hutchard. The term, precordial, had entered the French medical lexicon with the 1370 translation of Guy de Choyac's Chirgia Magna. Previously, the Latin term, precordia, had been used to refer to the diaphragm, a sense now obsolete. The Hutchard syndrome was then studied more deeply by Miller and Tessador, medical practitioners at the Cardiovascular Department and the Department of Medicine at the Michael Reese Hospital in Chicago, in 1955. They reported the condition in 10 patients, one being Miller himself. In 1978, pieces was discussed by Sparrow and Bird who reported that 45 healthy patients suffered from it, and that it was probably more frequent than generally assumed. Pieces in American children has been discussed by Pickering in 1981 and by Reynolds in 1989. These constitute the literature available in English on pieces. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?